Well, good morning and welcome to today's episode of Transformed. Today, I want to talk a little bit about the difference between truth versus narrative. Welcome to today's message with Pastor Jim Balzano. I want to say thanks to Park Home for our studio furniture and Taylor Design and Events for the design of our studio. You know, we're living in a day, and quite frankly, it's really not all that new, where we have a conflict between truth and narrative. Much of what we are receiving today from political parties, news agencies, and even social media is narrative that sometimes is uh, void of truth, and sometimes it has partial truth, and sometimes it's just complete falsehood. What is narrative? Let me give you a definition. It's the practice or art of telling a story. It is a representation of a particular situation or process in such a way as to reflect or conform to an overarching set of aims or goals. You know, narrative is a story told to represent a situation. Narrative is a story told to reflect maybe certain values or a certain culture. Narrative is a story that is told to bring about a particular result. It's a story that is told to dictate a certain response and to achieve a goal. Right now, our country is a country of narratives. We have a left narrative. We have a right narrative. We have a black narrative. We have a white narrative. We have narratives that differ on the same subject. You watch the news. You watch what's going on with COVID. One narrative says hydroxychloroquine works. Another narrative says it doesn't work and is dangerous. One narrative says masks work. Another narrative says they don't work. The narrative, no matter what it is today, is being spun to fit the agenda of the one telling the story. In the political system, the left has a story they want to tell. The right has a story they want to tell. What we must have is truth. That which is, and what is truth? Truth is that which is true in accordance with fact or reality. Now, to be sure, I want to remind you, truth, narrative can be truth, but I'm afraid much of the narratives we are receiving today are bits of truth adapted to a narrative or a narrative that is completely void of truth. You see, truth reveals facts. Facts become fuel and to enable us to make the right decisions. Truth sets a course based upon reality, not a reality that has become accepted through a narrative that has been told over and over and over. It's amazing. If you tell a false narrative long enough, people will begin to believe it as truth. Truth sets a course based upon a reality, not a fictitious reality. A narrative is often spun in order to get power, but truth is something that actually gives power. It gives power to make correct decisions. It gives power to set a course on what's best for you and best for the people that you lead. Truth is liberating. It sets you free. You see, we've got to beware of the narrative. We have to beware of the story. Beware of a narrative that is void of truth. Beware of a narrative that is strictly partisan. Beware of a narrative that is spun with threads of truth in a deceptive manner. How do we differentiate between truth and narrative in this time? Honestly, I'm not sure I know the answer to that. I'm not sure how we differentiate between what is truth and narrative in this current politically charged climate. But I want to talk to believers for just a moment. As believers, we've got a truth that we believe. Jesus made a statement. He said, if you hold to my teaching, you are really my disciples. And then you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. You know, as believers, we believe the teachings of Jesus to be truth. Now his truth becomes a course that I can live by in this world of narratives. His truth becomes a guide for our lives. His truth sets us free from the narratives of this world because we are going to act off of a truth of what his kingdom is. His truth sets us free from politics. It sets us free from racism. It sets us free from partisanship. It sets us free from religion. 
His truth guards my heart, that it doesn't get infected by a narrative that's being told. His truth guides my thoughts, that now my thoughts are molded and shaped by the word of God. His truth can guide my tongue. Man, isn't it something when we buy into the narrative, how it shapes our thinking, shapes our words, shapes our attitude? We've got to have those things shaped by what we believe to be truth. His truth determines my attitude. His truth determines how I interact with those I disagree with, even in this politically charged climate. His truth must be the guide for our lives as we live in this world of narratives. And so what I want you to do today is take heart. You can live in a world of narratives with a life based upon truth. You see, when we do that, the narratives of this world can't steal my joy because my joy is based upon his truth, not the narratives of this world. The narratives of this world can't dis discourage me because I take encouragement from the kingdom of a, uh, the, the, a kingdom not of this world. You see, the narrative can't cause me to hate those on the other side of the aisle. It can't cause me to hate those I disagree with because I'm setting the course of my life based upon the truth of his kingdom. It can't steal my peace. We have a world of unrest. We've got a world of chaos. We've got narratives being spun left and right that are creating unrest in people. But we can have peace because it's not based upon this world. It's based upon the truth of a kingdom, not of this world. So, beware of the narrative, but wear the truth. Beware of the narratives of this world. But as you walk in this world, hearing the narratives of this world, wear the truth of God and allow it to dictate your course dictate your heart it'll dictate what comes out of your mouth and i promise you i promise you you'll live in this world with a peace that it does not understand have a great week